What if I told you that the secret to Chick-fil-A's perfectly crispy waffle fries lies in a substance called dimethylpolysiloxane? It's not just for taste. This additive plays a crucial role in the cooking process. Curious about how this hard-to-pronounce ingredient makes your fries both delicious and safe? Let's dive into the fascinating world of fry engineering. From farm to fryer, the journey of a Chick-fil-A waffle fry is anything but ordinary. What happens between the potato field and your plate? A high-tech transformation that might surprise even the most devoted fry enthusiasts. Once the potatoes are harvested and selected, they're ready for their incredible metamorphosis. The first stop is the cutting station, where specialized machines work their magic. These aren't your average kitchen gadgets. They're precision-engineered marvels designed to create Chick-fil-A's iconic waffle shape. The cutting process is a sight to behold. Imagine a potato hurtling through a series of razor-sharp blades, each one carefully positioned to slice the spud into that distinct crisscross pattern. In the blink of an eye, a whole potato transforms into dozens of perfectly uniform waffle fries. The speed and accuracy of these machines are truly impressive, ensuring that every fry meets Chick-fil-A's exacting standards. But the journey doesn't end there. Fresh-cut fries, while delicious, aren't practical for a nationwide restaurant chain. That's where flash freezing comes in. This crucial step locks in the freshness and quality of the fries, preserving them from the processing plant all the way to your local Chick-fil-A. The flash freezing process is a technological wonder in itself. The cut fries are quickly cooled to sub-zero temperatures, forming tiny ice crystals that don't damage the potato's cellular structure. This means that when the fries are eventually cooked, they retain their texture and flavor, delivering that perfect combination of crispy exterior and fluffy interior that Chick-fil-A fans know and love. Once frozen, the fries are packaged into large boxes, ready for distribution to Chick-fil-A locations across the country. This packaging and distribution system is a logistical marvel, ensuring that every restaurant receives a steady supply of high-quality frozen fries. It's a complex dance of supply chain management involving refrigerated trucks, precise inventory tracking, and careful timing to keep those fries flowing from factory to fryer. You might wonder why Chick-fil-A goes through all this trouble. Why not just cut and fry potatoes at each restaurant? The answer lies in consistency. By centralizing the cutting and freezing process, Chick-fil-A can maintain incredibly high standards across all their locations. Whether you're eating fries in Atlanta or Anchorage, you're getting the same great taste and texture. This consistency is a point of pride for Chick-fil-A and the farmers who supply their potatoes. As Nick Johnson, a fourth-generation farmer, puts it, a lot of time, effort, and care goes into raising these potatoes. This commitment to quality starts in the fields and carries through every step of the production process. With the fries cut and frozen, it's time for the main event. But Chick-fil-A's frying process isn't just about dunking potatoes in hot oil. There's a secret ingredient in every fryer that plays a crucial role, and it's not what you might expect. When you bite into a Chick-fil-A waffle fry, you're tasting the result of a carefully engineered frying process. At the heart of this process is the oil. Chick-fil-A uses 100% refined peanut oil for frying, a choice that contributes to the fry's distinctive flavor and texture. But there's more to the story than just peanut oil. In each fryer, you'll find a surprising addition, dimethylpolysiloxane. Don't let the complex name fool you. This ingredient isn't there to enhance flavor. Instead, it serves a crucial safety function. Dimethylpolysiloxane is an anti-foaming agent that prevents the oil from splashing or foaming during the frying process. This reduces the risk of burns for kitchen staff, making the cooking process safer for everyone involved. Safety isn't the only priority in Chick-fil-A's frying process. Precision is key to achieving those perfectly golden crispy fries. Each batch of waffle fries is cooked for exactly two minutes. This specific timing is the result of extensive testing and refinement to achieve the ideal balance of texture and flavor. The two-minute frying time is crucial in creating the signature Chick-fil-A fry experience. It allows the exterior of the fry to reach a crispy golden brown perfection while ensuring the interior remains fluffy and tender. This contrast in textures is part of what makes these fries so appealing to customers. Temperature control is another critical factor. The oil is maintained at a consistent temperature throughout the frying process. 
This consistency ensures that each batch of fries cooks evenly, contributing to the uniform quality that Chick-fil-A is known for. The frying process also plays a role in enhancing the unique shape of the waffle fries. As the fries cook, the crisscross pattern created during the cutting process becomes more pronounced. This distinctive shape isn't just visually appealing, it also serves a practical purpose. The waffle pattern increases the surface area of each fry, resulting in more crispy edges and providing the perfect vessel for holding sauces. Speaking of sauces, the frying process is designed with dipping in mind. The crispy exterior created during frying helps the fries hold up when dunked in Chick-fil-A's various sauce options. Whether you prefer classic ketchup or the signature Chick-fil-A sauce, these fries are built to withstand even the most enthusiastic dipping. But the journey of Chick-fil-A's fries isn't over yet. There's a final touch that transforms these golden potato wafers into the irresistible side dish we know and love. It involves two precise pumps of a special ingredient. What could it be? And why is the technique so exact? The secret lies in Chick-fil-A's seasoning process, which is as precise as it is simple. Once the fries emerge from their two-minute oil bath, they're immediately seasoned with sea salt. But this isn't just a sprinkle here and there. Chick-fil-A employees use a special salt shaker that delivers exactly two pumps of salt for each batch of fries. This meticulous approach ensures that every serving has the perfect amount of seasoning, creating a consistent flavor profile across all locations. The use of sea salt isn't just a trendy choice. Sea salt has a more complex mineral content than regular table salt, which contributes to a more nuanced flavor. The larger crystals also adhere better to the surface of the fries, ensuring that the seasoning stays put even when the fries are jostled in their container or dipped in sauce. Speaking of sauce, the unique waffle shape of Chick-fil-A's fries isn't just for show. This clever design actually serves a practical purpose. The increased surface area created by the waffle pattern means more crispy edges for customers to enjoy. But perhaps more importantly, it provides the perfect landscape for holding on to dipping sauces. Whether you're a fan of the classic Chick-fil-A sauce, honey mustard, or Polynesian sauce, these fries are engineered to make every dip count. But Chick-fil-A's commitment to quality doesn't end with the seasoning. They employ a system known as the Kanban method to ensure that every batch of fries is served at its peak. This system, originally developed by Toyota for efficient manufacturing, has been adapted to keep Chick-fil-A's fry production running smoothly and minimize waste. Here's how it works. Fries are only cooked when needed, based on real-time demand. Once cooked and seasoned, they have a strict 5-minute window to be served. This means that when you order your waffle fries at Chick-fil-A, you're guaranteed to receive a batch that's fresh out of the fryer, perfectly seasoned and at the ideal temperature for maximum enjoyment. This five-minute rule is more than just a guideline. It's a key part of Chick-fil-A's quality control process. After five minutes, any remaining fries are discarded. While this might seem wasteful, it actually helps reduce overall waste by encouraging accurate demand forecasting and efficient production. It's a prime example of how Chick-fil-A balances quality with efficiency in their operations.